Hello everybody, my name's Ian, and today you're watching the Helmsburg Sawmill. In today's video, we're going to be sawmilling some six-quarter hard maple, and we're also going to be doing some mechanicing. I'd say the first 80% of the video is sawmilling, then the last 20% is the mechanic work. We're broke down again, and you guys are going to get to see what happened. The outside bearing to the head saw finally went bad, and the shaft is pretty goobered too. So we're replacing that bearing and we have to replace the whole shaft of the head saw, which that process is already underway. You're not going to see it all put back together by the end of the video, but you guys are going to get to see what's gotten started so far. Please make sure to like today's video, and if you're new and haven't subscribed yet and you're enjoying the videos, please make sure to hit that subscribe button. So we did get this load of grade lumber finished up. It was a smorgasbord load. It was a mix of red oak, white oak, and hard maple. After we got this load done, we got started on a load of four quarter poplar. We got one 16 foot bundle into that load and then that's when that bearing went bad. And that's enough about the mechanic work that's gonna be involved later. I'm gonna talk a little bit now about the sawmilling. So like I already mentioned, I'm sawing six quarter hard maple. Now out of this batch of hard maple, I cherry picked three good logs to have Sam video. The good hard maple butt logs get veneered away. The veneer companies buy those ones. Now when the buyers are looking for veneer hard maple, it's very important that they look at the heart. For hard maple to be considered for veneer, the heart has to be less than a third the size of the diameter of the log. That being said, these aren't veneer logs that I'm sawing, these are just saw logs. The heart's are way too big on these ones and they're just not nice enough. On the last log in the video, you guys will notice some edger marks in the side of the log on my first real pass. Usually, this is an indicator that the saw is dull and that I need to stop and file. However, I knew that this wasn't the case. My feed rate on that one pass was just too slow. After that happens, you'll notice my feed rate picks up and those edger marks go away. I'm now going to leave you guys to watch the sawing without my voice to guide you.
Now we find ourselves replacing a head saw bearing. It's one of them things, once I felt it happen, I just went ahead and shut it down. Luckily we have another brand new bearing right here. And another one somewhere, I think my dad ran off of the other new one that we have, just checking it out and cleaning it off. Well, we're getting it all tore apart. It's Friday afternoon, quitting time, and this is where we're going to choose to stop. I'm going to establish the reference point for our mandrel shaft and collar for our distance out here. Doing it with a carpenter square and some clamps. Simple, but effective. There's the jig. Uh, the bolts out that attach it, and then you put the bolts in these, and it pushes the taper lock out. Ah, okay. And this side over here is a lot tighter than this side. Yeah, and look at that shaft. Eighth of an inch. Yeah, it's worn through an eighth of an inch. That's bad. And these fat poplar logs are literally what we're on deck next to be put on the channel. But yeah, we got a nice 29 inch poplar right there. And that's its second log right there. It's a 28, some 24s up here. Nice straight 20s. But hopefully we can get that all fixed quick. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Tune back in again next time.